everyone, it's me, Laura, for The Paper Soul. Welcome back to my channel. I wanted to come and share um, my design team project for Elsie Bell's bookshelf um, for the month of September. And um, I did something just a little bit different this time where I made some really cute smaller uh, journals that you could pop into your you know, pocketbook. And um, I know fall uh, time of year is very, very busy. There's lots going on. And it might just be fun to have something like this in your purse that you carry with you and jot little notes and things like that. Um, this is a four and a half by six, um, and I made it with a um, clasp envelope. And the name of the kit of Ellie's is called Harvest Ephemera Collage Papers. And there are six pages in that grouping, and they're all collage pages. So there's a lot of versatility to this type of kit because you can make a lot of your um, tags and ephemera from the collage pages themselves. So um, let me just go ahead and show. I'll just show each one. I've got little charms on them. I've got uh, a spine here. Um, on, on the spine, I've got the, the trim, the lace trim. Excuse me. And um, let's see. So let me just show you the front and back. And you can kind of see how she's collaged her her little pages here. So you could cut this out like that, make a tag out of that, and just break it down. So I did some of that. Here's, here's the other one. Really pretty, really pretty papers. Uh, and then I added some, some music, vintage music um, sheet there. Um, there's the back of that one, okay? I've got twine. Um, so I have the little charm. And I have, let's see, wrapped it around underneath this flower. So that will keep it closed for you. So I have like that little button there, little flower. I've got a little bit of um, the um, burlap there. And so then you open, open it up. So I'm gonna put these to the side and then, um, so here it is opened up okay i've done some sewing around the edge um that's about all i've done i didn't sew anything else um i know some people not everybody likes the sewing so i just you know made little tags and backed them with everything like um, some old papers that i have and some co uh, copy dye papers but i did stenciling edge punching um stamping there are about 56 pages in here front and back um, so there's a lot of journaling space, okay? Um, so I made my little pockets and tucks. Here's, here's one of the cards I made. So all the little cards and tags that you see, I made from her kit, unless it was, you know, something totally different. This was a lot of fun. I made a little acorn, um, altered paper clip. So that was a lot of fun. And I just, this opens up. So I just thought that'd be a cute way to keep that closed some of her pretty papers made a belly band here and i've got a, like a little, a little library card i like to put in there stamp library card i've got some fun autumn shimmery trim it's kind of like a velveteen shimmer trim there very fall looking i have an overlay here so i just from her papers i cut out some of the the pretty elements and I backed it onto some card stock, I mean some uh, coffee dye papers. And then I just draped that over there. So that's lots of journal space there. But this would really be neat, like um, to just jot down things you wanna do, things, parties you wanna have, fall festivals, craft fairs, uh, fun little recipes, um, the Halloween's coming up, so maybe some uh, ideas for you know, little costumes for Halloween and, you know, or it could just be a, a little sweet little journal that you just want to journal in for fall. Uh, that's there. And then I've got some vintage paper here, book page. There's another one of her pretty 
uh, collage sheets there. And I did shrink these down, um, so they are a normal size for a journal, but I shrunk it down to fit this cute little envelope size. Here's a tag. And they're all um, the same kind of layout, basically, but there's some different papers and different arrangements of papers. So there's a little happiness card that I stamped, a uh, journal card, and then here's part of her, a little tag I made with the, um, the collage sheets that she has. And just about anywhere you decide to cut it, it's gonna be pretty. Some vintage music paper. Here's the middle of my signature, and I did little um, coffee cups dangling from those strings because I thought, you know, it's time, it's the time of year where you do your what, pumpkin spice, chai tea lattes, things of that nature. I did some stamping there. I've got a little pocket here that I did with some ribbon, and it's a metallic. It's real pretty with fall leaves on it. There's another little card that I, I backed that one with um, graph paper, and I have some, uh, there's some uh, stenciling there. And ledger paper, I ran a ribbon through that page. I like to do that. There's another one of her pretty pages. And there's another side here. It says, I love fall most of all. See, you can see all these little things. You could cut them out however you want. I try so hard not to waste any paper because it's, it's all so pretty. You just, you know, I did, there's some edge punching. This is a little cute bicycle tag. And I just stuck that down there and I've stamped out notes. Put a little lace trim there. I have a little tag that I made with put lines on the back of it. And it says, Autumn shows us how beautiful it is to let things go. So I thought that was, would it really spoke to me. And this is some vintage, um, little corner tuck out of a vintage, um, it's a bridge, it's a book on how to play bridge, and so, I, but it's vintage there. Pretty little tag here. That's another of her pretty papers. I've got two little tags here that I uh, fussy cut out of her to make this ephemera. Thought that was really cute, put a little, pocket down here, punched out some leaves and used some Distress um, ink pad uh, to make it look like fall leaves. I made a little envelope and I have a little leaf here that will keep that envelope closed. I left it open so that you can do some journaling in there if you decide, uh, or you can actually glue it up yourself if you decide that you you know don't wanna leave it open and don't wanna journal in it, you just wanna put things in there. So there's a pocket here in the back and then there's a pocket in the front and then um, you have this whole side here that you can put little notes and little special pieces of paper there. So I've got a little owl here. I've got a little stickles on his eyes and uh, that just helps secure and protect this little uh, button there, burlap button and little flower, silk flower there. So you just do that with it and wrap it up and you can do several times, and you do three times, and then for um, most of them, you do, you'll do you wrap them all around, and then you'll wrap it one time around the flower, or two times, one of them is just one. So since I've basically shown you, I won't, you know, I'm just gonna show you the others. We'll walk through them, and so, oh, I think I, Went the wrong way, there we go. And I just tuck it under the little uh, petals. This charm is, oh, this charm was a uh, little maple leaf. And this charm is a tree, a little bronze tree. Here's the front of this one. And then the back. Um, so I have uh, little mushrooms here, a little sunflower up there. And this is a little tag I made from her papers as well. Did some stamping here. Stamping, another little tag. 
So some of them are just like they say, they have little different papers in them. I did put one of the altar paper clips. It's also got stencil on that little acorn, but I did put an altar paper clip in each one. That's real pretty. It's got a doily and a leaf and a bicycle, belly band and my little journal card there. More of that pretty trim. Vintage page. That is an overlay for this page. So, and that opens up. And so I just overlaid that. I may go back and sew a few things just to make sure that the pages are gonna stay adhered. So I may do a little, but it will not have as much sewing as I normally do. And you may hear a kitty cat in the background. That's Figgy. I have to put him up while I film. My little happiness journal card. And here's another one that I kind of put together. I fussy cut that leaf and put it on that image. It wasn't like that on the in the kit. My little coffee cups, my leaves. There's that little ribbon there, little pocket ribbon. Ribbon pocket. Getting things backwards today. Little lace trim there, ribbon. They're pretty. These were so, if, this, if you're needing some inspiration for fall, this is the kit to do it, because it's just, so fall. <laughs> so it just screams autumn. I uh, stamped out notes right there on that little tag. And it's just, the colors are just gorgeous with this kit. And then I added, of course, my extra little scrap pages and coffee dye pages. Here's my little tuck there. And it's the same quote. Might have a different color for each one. And that little mushroom. Isn't that pretty? I love that. And then these little tags here, part of a, looks like a ledger. And I just tuck those in there. These are adhered on just for decoration. And here's this little envelope. Okay, tucks up under that leaf to keep it closed. There's that pocket. And then again, you've got your space back here. There's my little owl. And there's my little flower and my button. And then you'll just wrap all that. You wrap it up three times. I'm not gonna do it just for saving time. And then you'll wrap it around either twice or once, but you'll know how far to go, depending on how much it's hanging down. And this one is a leaf, a little bronzed um, leaf. So it's that little, and this is um, metallic gold twine. I have that in my shop. Got all kinds of twines in my shop. I have rose gold, antique rose gold, uh, silver, uh, and then the gold. So there's, whoop, there it is. Had it right the first time, and my little happiness card, and I love my little bird right there. Yep. So you can see, like I say, they're a little, the tags are a little different. There's my little acorn that flips open. And there's that pretty trim, fall trim. And look at that pretty image. There's belly band there with a little library card. This one has a side pocket like that, and this one. And there's a little cute tag I fussy cut out. Like I say, all my ephemera elements, other than if I say I stamped it out like I did on my happiness card were cut from her paper, papers from this, these pages. It's like a little lantern there with a butterfly and it's filled up with, I guess, like all kinds of different pumpkins and pine cones. Just love it. Lots of space to jot notes down or journal. Journal about you know, what kind of season you're having, what kind of year, school year you're having, if you've got children in school or if you're in school. Just something to keep you inspired. There's a little ribbon pocket there. 
Over trim. I love that one. I think I've already told you that. I love all of them. Her pages are gorgeous. Every, I love those. They, they're like their little medallions hanging off of a chain. There's her envelopes. Just that love that too. Notes. I stamped that on that. There's a little sweet little mushroom tag there. Ran the ribbon through. Put a picture right there. Here's another. There, there's another picture of those little medallions. I was look like a necklace. But I love the images. This has got some pretty little faint um, stenciling. And there's my autumn shows us how beautiful it is to let things go. And this. And there you go. That little envelope there. And my little leaf. Those are sturdy. I doubled them up. And then you've got that pocket back there. That sweet little owl. My husband's coming home. And then my um, little flower with my button. And there you have it. So there they are. I hope you like them. I will put the information for Ellie's shop uh, in the description. If you haven't already subscribed, please feel free to do so. You can also put, put uh, like press the little bell icon and it'll notify you when I have new videos out. Um, but uh, Ellie also has a print and ship uh, option, so she can ship you these instead of you doing them digitally for downloads. So that's always something else to keep in mind. These will be in my shop, on my Etsy shop for sale. Um, and I wish everyone a happy fall. Thanks, everyone. Bye.